Welcome back to Using the Catalog. This is episode 8, Using the Michigan eLibrary, or MEL. MEL is a statewide service of the Library of Michigan. Part of its mission is to provide an interlibrary loan system to allow Michigan residents to borrow books and other materials for free from participating Michigan libraries. MEL also offers other services, and if you'd like to learn more about those, you can either check out our website or let me know in the comments down below. So what is an interlibrary loan system? If you haven't used MEL before, it's an easy way to request a book or other item that the Southfield Public Library, or SPL, doesn't have within our collection. The time it takes to place the request to receiving the material can fluctuate from just a couple of days to a week, but it's completely free and you'll still check the material out at SPL. There are a couple ways to check out materials from MEL if you can't find it in our catalog. If you're already in our catalog searching for an item and that item doesn't show up, you can easily check if another library has a copy available by clicking MELIR on the right hand side of the screen. The search is automatically entered as advanced keyword, which may or may not bring up the title you're looking for. There are a number of different ways to search MEL. To choose a different search field, click the drop down box. Here you can choose from author, title, series title, and more. Let's choose title and remove the T from our search. You can keep the parentheses for a more exact title search, but if you're unsure if the title is correct, remove them. A list of titles will appear once you click the search button or hit enter. If all the titles are the same, check the entries found area and choose the entry with the highest number. You're more likely to find a available title that way. Click the title once you've decided which entry is the most accurate based on your search a list of materials with that title will come up. You'll notice some show a picture of a book and some show a CD in the results. These designate the format, so make sure you choose the correct format that you're looking for. If a blue Get This For Me appears next to an entry, the item is available. Click the blue button to proceed. Choose Southfield Public Library under which Melcat library card slash account do you want to use. Under Login Using Library Card, type your first and last name. Enter your library card number, click Submit. Your request has been submitted. Another way to use MEL is to visit mel.org. If you use this method and don't check our website first, the system will tell you if that item is available at SPL. You aren't able to request items from our library through MEL. You'll get an error code. In the MELCAT keyword search, type the name of the item you're looking for then click search or hit enter on your keyboard. MEL is not case sensitive and you can omit most punctuation. However, numbers usually need to be spelled out. MEL's catalog is very similar to our own. You can sort by date, title, or author, then refine your search by format, language, subject, etc. Since these tools are similar to what we went over in a previous episode, we won't explore them further here. I'll leave a link to those episodes in the YouTube description box. For each title, Mel notes how many libraries carry it. If you want to see if a specific library has the title, click here. The item record will appear. Scroll to the bottom of the page under Locations to see which libraries carry the item. The status indicates if the item is currently available to check out. Once you've located the item you'd like to request, click Get this from Melcat. A box will pop up prompting you to log in just like before. Again, choose Southfield Public Library under which Melcat library card slash account you want to use. Under login using library card, type your first and last name, followed by your library card number. Click submit, choose your pickup location, click submit. Another thing you can do in Mel is create lists, which disappear after each session. However, they can be useful if you find an interesting material as you're searching for something else. To add an item to the list, simply click the Add to My List button under Additional Actions. Then you can remove the item from your list or view your list. Your list is also accessible at the top of the page by clicking My List. It will also indicate how many items are in your list. Once you've accessed your list, you can remove items from the list Check the box next to the cover of the material you want to remove or uncheck the items you don't want removed. Then click Remove from List. 
You'll be prompted to confirm, so click yes to clear the list. Because the list will only last for your current session, you have the option to email or print the list to save the titles for when you're ready to check them out. To email the list, click email, enter your email address, subject, then click send. If you would prefer to print the list, simply click print. The list will not print book covers. Click print and your document will print to the designated printer. Close the print preview to return to your list. A few things to keep in mind. If your request doesn't go through, it's often because your library card needs to be renewed. To renew your library card, bring your library card and state ID to the circulation lobby. If you recently renewed your library card, but you're still getting an error, it's possible that you owe fines or fees. If you have fines or fees on your account, check out episode 7 to learn how to pay them online. Some other things to keep in mind, if an item is listed in the MEL catalog but doesn't have the Get This For Me button, it's likely because the item is currently checked out or not requestable. You cannot place items on hold at another library. Books that are brand new aren't always requestable. Many libraries don't include new materials as requestable items, meaning you'll likely have to wait several months before the item is no longer considered new. You can check the due date of any mail requested materials and renew materials in your online account, just as you would materials you've checked out through SBL. And we talked about this in an earlier episode, so just check out the YouTube description box for the link. That's all for this episode of Using the Catalog. Check back soon for episode 9, How to Place an Item on Hold. We'd love to hear from you, so please reach out to us or leave us a YouTube comment. Thanks for watching.